Welcome everybody. I'm Jeff Sutton, Director of Athletic Media Relations here at Houston Christian University, and this is another episode of Think About It. I'm joined today by Ron Cottrell, James Sears Bryant, head men's basketball coach here at Houston Christian University. Ron, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So I think we'll uh, jump right in. Uh, as I said, men's basketball coach. So a couple of weeks out from the season starting, um, you know, just tell me a little bit about the uh, the team that you've got coming in this year. Yeah, we've got a, a really good mix of of returners and new guys. A good mix of of uh, transfers, older guys, and some freshmen as well. Uh, guys have been really working hard in the fall and, and getting ready for the season right around the corner, obviously. And and uh, the guys that we've got returning got a lot of experience last year and really are are taking the lead for us. But we've also got some transfer guys who've come in and stepped in and, and taken immediate lead roles for us. And, and so it's been a really good group. We've had a great fall practice and, and looking forward to the season getting started. Okay. Um, you know, something I think we have to talk about, uh, it was obviously big news and I'm thinking it's something that as a basketball coach, it was something that you never thought you'd have to deal with or go through. Um, Darius Lee mm -hmm. uh, lost his life this past summer. Um, obviously a big blow to you, the team, the coaching staff, everybody around the school. Can you just talk a little bit about Darius, who he was, uh, the impact he had on you, the team? Yeah, yeah, Darius was obviously a special young man. He was a tremendous basketball player and someone that everybody kind of gravitated towards just because of his basketball skills and the fact that he was, you know, our leading scorer, leading rebounder, leading assist guy, leading, leading steals guy. I mean, you could go down the list of all the things that he was able to do for us on the basketball court. Uh, All-conference player would have been preseason player of the year in the league. He was he was set up to really uh, have a tremendous year. Uh, but what people don't know is behind the scenes what kind of guy he is. He he was such a tremendous person. Uh, pretty much every athlete on our campus, it doesn't matter the sport, had interacted with Darius at some point in time and, and thought of him as a friend. Uh, I think it really affected not only our team but but all of our athletes across campus. Uh, you know, in, a, in an unbelievable way. And, and so to lose someone like him that, that is just a, a role model, someone who is, you know, is going to graduate in December, uh, just a tremendous young man, uh, obviously was a devastating blow for our program. Uh, but it was more so off the court, even more so than, the, than on the court. Um, the leader he was for us as a team, just the type of person, the way he represented the school, um, was, was just someone that we can't replace. We know that. Uh, but we're going to do everything we can to, to play up to his standards and, and, and do everything we can to honor him throughout this year. Mm -hmm. You said to honor him. Can you talk a little bit? I know there's you know, various things that are being done and planned mm -hmm. to sort of honor his memory and legacy. Can you talk about some of the things that have happened? I mean, there's quite a few, I know. Yeah, sure. There, I mean, obviously, we're going to have his name. Uh, D. Lee put on our uniforms. We'll wear those uh, to honor him throughout the year. Uh, we're playing a game against Rice on November 21st at Rice, uh, at their request actually, mm -hmm. uh, that they name the game in honor of Darius. Uh, so it'll be the Darius Lee Memorial Classic mm -hmm. uh, at Rice and it will honor him there as well. Uh, and I think probably the most special for uh, certainly his family is he will get, graduate from Houston Christian University in December, just like mm -hmm. he would have otherwise. Uh, so his family will be here for that. And I think that's just, that speaks so much highly of, of him that we as a university would, would do that, knowing he was so close to graduating anyway. And, and I think it's, it's, it's you know, tremendous for the school to go ahead and do that for his family and, and honor the fact that he is gonna be an alumnus of Houston Christian University. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm just, you know, a couple more. I think there was a playground it was across Absolutely, the street yeah. from his house. A basketball court straight across the street from his, uh, from his house. And, mm -hmm. and right there in Harlem, New York. And uh, it's now the Darius Lee Memorial Basketball Court. Uh, and there's some other things in the works. There's some mm -hmm. things in New York that are going on. Uh, there's a push right now to name the street in front of his apartment. 138th Street, name it in his honor. Yeah. Uh, and so there's all kinds of things going on in, in behind the scenes that we're, that we're trying to keep his memory alive and, mm -hmm. and people, you know, keep him top of mind. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you mentioned the Darius Lee Memorial Classic at Rice. Can you talk a little bit about your schedule, what you've got going on? I know, I think you've got the most home games you've played in, yeah. in years this year. So yeah. can you talk a little about the schedule and getting fans out to games? Yeah, 16 home games. We're excited about that. That's going to be great to have that many games in Sharp Gym. 
Uh, then we have the Rice game on, on November 21st here in town also. Uh, but we open at Florida International uh, in Miami on November 7th, and then we follow that up with a game at Texas uh, in Austin on November 10th. Uh, and then we've got a string of home games coming after that. Uh, and, and then we'll conclude that kind of stretch with, with the Rice game on, on the 21st. And then we go on the road, we'll play uh, Texas Tech on the road, we'll play Missouri on the road, but we've got Denver back here after we played them there last year. Uh, we've got a really, really good schedule. Uh, excited about our team and the fact that our fans are gonna be able to get to see them play as much as they are. Mm -hmm. uh, and then once we get into conference play, it's going to be a really good conference season. I think it's really balanced this year. Uh, and so it's going to be fun to have uh, those opponents coming into Sharp and having our fans there loud and proud and excited and, and, and making it hard on them to come in there and, and uh, walk away with a win. We're going to really be tough to beat here in Sharp. Sounds great. Um, so you've been the head men's basketball coach here for over three decades now. <laughs> um, you know, there's a list that, that you're on that I guess technically you've been rising on it since you started, but you know, you're now the third longest tenured coach in NCAA Division One. Um, want to just talk a little bit about you know growth as a coach in that time and things that you've you've seen in yourself that have changed, but then also what what still drives you to be you know the head men's basketball coach to win basketball games to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, I came here uh, in the fall of '90. I was 29 years old at the time and. And so you can do the math, uh, how long I've been here and, and how old I am now. But uh, I still feel unbelievably young and excited about our program every day because this campus and, and this, this community has been so welcoming of my family throughout the years and, and allowed me to grow as a coach uh, and, and us to have success. And, and so it's been, a, it's been a tremendous ride and I still enjoy it every day. I still get up every day and enjoy going and working with the guys. And, and to me, that's what keeps me young and excited about uh, where we're going and what we're doing. I, I think uh, the campus community, the administration throughout the years, the 30 plus years I've been here, have been tremendously supportive uh, and have, have given us an environment that we can, we can work with young men on a Christian campus and pour into their lives our faith and who we are and, and be open about the, 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 the people we want them to become. And, and so to me, that's, that's exciting. I, lo I love competing. I love winning basketball games, but more so than that, I just love being part of young men's lives and seeing them grow and, and go on to have families and, and tremendous careers and come back and, and come see us play. And that's what keeps me going all the time. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's great. And then obviously it's been at the same school. Um, you've mm -hmm. seen tremendous change in this university in your time here. Absolutely. Uh, can you talk about what, you know, some of that change and, and what's great about it? You know, obviously the most recent big news on the change was the change to Houston Christian University. Mm -hmm. um, you know, why is this a place that you've wanted to be for this long? Yeah, well, I grew up in Houston. Uh, I went to Westbury High School and, and grew up going to church right across the street at College Park Baptist Church. And, and so Houston Christian or Houston Baptist at the time was a part of my life growing up. Uh, I have many friends that I grew up with that went to school here. And so to be able to come back and be the coach here was, was really something that was exciting to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and so to see the school grow and change and, and see all the things that are going on, I think this is an energetic time to be a part of, of HBU, HCU. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as the name change uh, has come about, I think it's a tremendous for our school. I think it opens so many more doors for us with the name change. Uh, I think it's a reflection of who we are as an institution. Uh, and so to me, that's exciting. That's fun to be a part of. And, and uh, to see the school, not only the athletic department grow the way it has, mm -hmm. but the entire university grow the way it has in the last several years. It's just, you know, to me, it's just fun to be, to be here on the campus and see the energy of, of students walking around every day and, and being a part of their lives. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of one last question on sort of staying with the theme of some change and things like that. You know, you've been around college basketball, there's been a lot of talk recently about changes in college basketball, obviously. There was a lot of talk about NIL not all that long ago and how mm -hmm. that was going to change things. And now there's obviously a lot of talk about expanding the NCAA tournament and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, where do you see things, you know, heading and with, with the kind of the landscape of college basketball? What are your thoughts on the idea of expanding mm -hmm. the tournament? Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to think about the tournament expanding. Uh, the, the, the landscape of college basketball has changed tremendously in the last 
say five years. I think mm -hmm. the transfer portal uh, and seeing young men be able to transfer and be immediately eligible has been the biggest impact. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly NIL is, is something that a lot of schools are getting into depending on the level they are and, and the support uh, that the young men can get to be able to do that. But the transfer portal has been the biggest change. You know, used to you would bring a young man in and, and recruit them out of high school and, and maybe redshirt them or whatever and have them for five years and you see them grow and develop and by their junior and senior year they would be a big part of your program now if, if they're not playing within the first two or you know at least one year or two years they're going to be looking at other options and so the transfer portal has really changed college basketball tremendously uh, used to you would build what we would call a program now it's a year to year build a team uh, and so we've been very fortunate we haven't had a lot of turnover uh, I think young men get here and they like who we are as a coaching staff, like our institution, like the direction that we're taking the program. And so we haven't been as affected as some programs, uh, but it's still something that you have to, you have to look at every year and, and who are you gonna bring in? Are you gonna bring in younger guys? Are you gonna bring in more experienced guys? Uh, and so I think that's a big part of the change of college basketball. The expanding of the tournament would be interesting if that comes about, which mm -hmm. I think it's, we're kind of heading down that road. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I think the more inclusion we bring to the, to the tournament will be great for smaller Division One programs. Uh, mm -hmm. I think anything we can do to, to get that exposure of being in the NCAA tournament is tremendous. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, it's just like being at HCU, it's a fun time to be a college basketball coach. Mm -hmm. A lot of things going on. Yeah. What can students expect coming to school at Houston Christian University and why should they apply? Yeah, I think the college choice is one of the biggest decisions that you make as, as a person, what college you go to, because you're gonna surround yourself with people that you will be friends with for the, in many cases, the rest of your life. Uh, and so when you make a college choice, I think uh, you really have to sit down and look at who, who do I wanna be around? Who do I wanna be taught by? What kind of environment do I wanna be in? What kind of students, classmates do I wanna be around? And so I think the fact that you can come to Houston Christian University and be taught by faith-based people, people who are gonna direct your lives and help you to grow uh, academically, but spiritually as well. I think that's a, a huge part of why people choose Houston Christian University and why I think this would be a tremendous choice for anyone who wants to be a part of a campus like ours. Okay. This has been another uh, edition of Think About It. To keep up with men's basketball and all of our other sports teams, athletic department news, check out hcuhuskies.com. Uh, follow us on Twitter at HCU Athletics, on Instagram at HCU Huskies. Uh, to keep up with the basketball team on both Twitter and Instagram at HCU Hoops. Coach, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. All right.